guys, how's it going? Today we're planting Proven Winners 2022 Recipes of the Year. There are three recipes, two versions of each. So one version is in a container with a centerpiece plant. The other version is a hanging basket. And I know I'm a year early, but I thought it would be fun to plant these up and just chronicle, is that the right word? chronicle the progress yeah. <laughs> um, throughout the year and that way you guys can see what they look like because one of the nice things about the recipes of the year is that the plants used in them are typically a lot easier to find because Proven Winners spends a lot of energy promoting those plants to growers so that they grow them on so that the retailers can get a hold of them which is where you are seeing them and buying them so in 2022 these varieties should be pretty easy for you to find hopefully so anyway let's just get right into the recipes the first one is called amethyst dreams and i'm really excited about this one because it's the colors that I really love. Uh, the centerpiece plant that we are using is the Prince Tut. It's a little small right now. I'm gonna wait for a second because there's an airplane right above us. Anyway, the Prince Tut grass gets these like umbrella-like plumes at the top. So that's what our centerpiece is gonna be and we are gonna surround it with Superbena Sparkling Amethyst, which I have grown every one of these plants that's in this uh, recipe and they're all really pretty. But this one is spectacular, like both in containers and in the landscape, it doesn't matter where you plant it, as long as it gets a lot of sun, they do really well. The other one in here, which these don't have a ton of color on them yet, because we're kind of early in the season, but let me find one that does. Yeah, Supertunia White, which you all know how Supertunias grow really full and really gorgeous. And then we've got a Super Bells called Grape Punch. Aren't those all so pretty together? So you might notice I do have a little bit of soil already in my container. In fact, all three of these containers I used for bulbs this last fall. We put fresh soil in them. We planted daffodils and we enjoyed that show. Um, when we took the daffodils out, this is how much soil I was left with. And typically, like since the daffodils aren't a super taxing crop on our soil, I'm just gonna leave this without cleaning it completely out. If this soil was used all of last year, I would start fresh. But I'm just gonna top it up, up with fresh soil and some continuous release fertilizer and then we'll plant. So let me get that ready first. Also, I did make sure that all of my containers have drip tubing to them. That's something to remember to do before you put soil in your containers. If you're gonna hook it up on a drip system, which I highly recommend because plants thrive on consistency, um, you wanna do that first. And this pot is the lemon pot from Unique Stone. It has a, I uh, believe a 19 inch diameter here. So let me get soil and fertilizer in here. Ooh, that soil's wet. Look at that. I've got the soil all prepared, so I'm gonna start with my centerpiece plant. Now I'm putting it right in the center for this application. If you were putting your pot up against a wall, you might back your centerpiece plant up this way and then plant all of your goodies up front. But in this case, I want it to look pretty from all sides. So we've got it in the center. And then what I think I'm gonna do is two of each one of these plants. So I'm gonna place them around the exterior here. We've got our Super Tunia White. Let me get one more of those. I think that that will be beautiful. Like I know that all of these plants will get big enough to where I really only need one of each one of these plants. So you could do that, you could scale it down. But for this size of pot, I feel like two of each one will be really nice and then they will all kind of uh, grow together and intermingle and it will be a very even look instead of having, you know, like a super bina on one side, super tunia and super bells, if that makes sense. This helps them kind of mix in a little bit better. So let me get all of these in. Back in the day, I probably would have tried to do three of each one of these. I have, I have evolved a little bit throughout the years. <laughs> this is going to be so gorgeous. It's just fun to see fresh plants. And even though like they're small now, like I know what it's gonna turn into. So I'm really excited to see it. Uh, the location we're in right now, I forgot to mention this. We decided to plant here in the shade. Um, they're going into a full sun location, which is really what these plants right here want. I'm doing another one that can handle a little bit more shade, which we'll probably do next. Uh, but this one will go full, full sun. We um, are also gonna be moving all of these into the greenhouse tonight, because we're supposed to get 70 mile an hour wind gusts tonight. Can you believe that? Like it's 91 today and beautiful and kind of still. Uh, I'm not looking forward to that, but we'll protect these plants for sure. All right, so now I've got my drip tubing here. I kind of made it long so that I could adjust if I needed to, yeah. We use the brown quarter inch drip tubing that has the holes every uh, six inches. It works really well. And just make a coil around. I should have grabbed some landscape staples because what I'll probably do is staple it here, 
here and then I'll bring the tail end of it right around the grass because the tuck grasses do prefer to have quite a lot of moisture but that'll be perfect. So now we're gonna move this pot over to the side and bring in a hanging basket so I can plant the hanging basket version of this recipe. So this is the type of hanging basket I'm planting in today. You might notice it has a flat bottom so you can use it as just a freestanding container if you want. It is a 20 inch diameter. It's called a London basket and it's got these right here which we will put on once we go to hang it and it's got a pre-molded cocoa fiber liner. The pre-molded ones are always really nice. I mean, there are different qualities for sure. You can get thicker ones and there are some that are very thin. I would definitely opt for the thicker one. But the nice part about hanging baskets is especially when you're planting with super bells, that like a lot of drainage, um, these are really nice. Now I do have a piece of drip tubing we're just gonna lay on the top until we go hang this and we can hook it into our drip tubing. Uh, but I need to get soil and fertilizer in here and then we'll put the plants in. I used two of the Super Bell's Great Punch, one of the Super Tuny White, and one of the Super Vena Sparkling Amethyst because I know how big these two get. Super Bell's don't qu get quite as big in my experience, so I wanted one on either side. But if you're diligent, especially in the beginning, I mean, you can see this Super Tuny already has branches that are cruising that direction, so it will intermix. But if you kind of intervene a little bit in the beginning and kind of weave some of the branches together, you'll have a very full and beautiful basket. Uh, I didn't want to overtax the basket because by the end of the season, this thing will be like one big root ball because of how vigorous these annuals are. But I think it's really pretty. Let's move on to the second recipe, which is called Before Dark. Out of all three of the recipes, I have to say that this one is my favorite. I mean, I love the colors in that first one, but the fact that there are no blooms in this arrangement, yet it's still so interesting, it speaks to me. There's a lot of different colors and textures here, and it's just beautiful. So same centerpiece here, we have a Prince Tut surrounded by two Sweet Caroline uh, Raven right here, and then there's a Color Blaze Chocolate Drop Sedum. These get massive, in fact, like one, one in this container would probably be enough. Um, Helichrysum right here, this one's called White Licorice. These also get really big. All of these plants I think are just gonna be so beautiful together. So let me get them planted and then we'll take a look. It looks really great. I've got the drip tube in here. So we'll move this one to the side and get the hanging basket in here. So in this hanging basket, I am only gonna use one of each of these plants because let me tell you, I think I would regret it if I <laughs> used more than that. And then again, in the beginning, if we're diligent about kind of training the branches to kind of, you know, go to each side of the container, then they'll just continue on. It'll look like a beautiful intermix display. Um, and then I just wanted to address really quick, like breaking root memory and if that's essential or, or necessary even for annuals. And typically like this one right here is a little bit more, uh, like there's a lot more roots than the other two. But even in this case, it really wouldn't be necessary unless Unless it's severely root bound, which you'll only really find in annual grasses this time of year, maybe. I mean, they haven't even had enough time in their cans. It's really not as necessary as I once thought it was. So anyway, that's all that it's going to take for this one. I'm going to put my drip tube around here so I don't forget. And then we are good to go. Time for recipe number three. This container is called Rope and Weave from Unique Stone. And because the diameter isn't as big as the other ones, this one's about 16 inches, I'm only gonna use one of each one of the plants just based on how big I know that they're gonna get. So this one is called Blind Love. It's got a lot of pinks and some white in it. Prince Tut again as our centerpiece. And then we've got Super Tunia Royal Magenta, which I'm a huge fan of this Super Tunia. We have used it several times in several different applications. In fact, I'm like looking at the front of our barn right now, we used it in the containers up front there and it was so pretty. I loved it. Then we've got Super Tunia Lovey Dovey. Look at this one with the stripes. So it's kind of like a white base with pink stripes. I'll put that one. I'm just kind of trying to divide this into thirds along the outside here. Super tunias just get so big, it would be massive overkill if I put two of each in this container. And then we've got a Super Bina called White Out, which I actually planted in the ground last year. And it was big. It got so 
gorgeous and it was a beautiful ground cover so like all of these are great for in ground as well as in containers so let me put my drip in in fact i think the drip might even be too big for this container but that's easy to make it shorter if we need to like that perfect let's grab the hanging basket i'm just going to use one of each of these plants in the hanging basket as well All right, so I got them all planted. I'm gonna clean up this whole area and then we'll take a look at all six of the containers all lined up. Oh, these look so great. I love them and I cannot wait to see them fill in. I like all of the color combinations this year. All of them are just so beautiful. So here are all the big containers. Oh, I just love that mix right there. Of course, it'll look really good when you can't see the drip tubing too. Love that purple. And then the hanging baskets right down below. There we have it. So definitely, if you have a chance, go to Proven Winner's website and look at that container garden recipe search. If you're just needing a quick jolt of inspiration or you just like to look at flowers like me, it's nice to look at some fresh ideas sometimes. And they also created a way that you can pin your most favorite ideas that you come across onto a Pinterest style board on their website. So you can keep all of the things that spoke to you in the same spot because there are so many ideas that come up. It's easy to get lost. You're like, did I see that on page 13 or page 21? you know that sort of thing um, so that you can just save everything that you like in one spot so anyway we will be updating you on these containers as the season progresses we're going to tuck them away uh, for this evening so the poor little plants don't get beat to death by the wind that's coming our way i uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video and we will see you in the next one bye